What is going on everybody? My name is Pete, but you probably already knew that. But in case you didn't, you guys are watching the one and only Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. Coming at you, number uh, day number 1404. Hope you're all doing great out there. So if you drive for apps like Grubhub, DoorDash, Uber Eats, or any of the others, you should definitely be subscribed to this channel with all notifications turned on. That is correct, everybody. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, hit that free red subscribe button. It's free, uh, it's free, turn on the notifications, hit the like button. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. And let's jump into the email, Triple Lindy Thornton Mellon style. And uh, here we go. So uh, let's see here. Da, 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 da. This comes from Deborah, and Deborah says the following. Hi, Pete. As I'm writing this, I am waiting for the most ridiculous reason I have ever heard. I'm trying to decide if it's worth my time at all. I had a Grubhub order for one of these cal cauliflower crust uh, gluten-free pizzas from Donato's Pizza. I was informed that because it's gluten-free that they have to exchange out their entire production line so that does it doesn't come in contact with any gluten from previous pizzas. This is a 25 minute process whereby they have to shut down their entire assembly line in order to make this one pizza. I asked to speak with the manager and they told me that that's exactly what they do because they offer a gluten-free product. And I said, why don't you provide yourselves with a set of utensils uh, as well as an area where you can produce the gluten-free pizzas and still cook your other pizzas. And he looked at me like I had brain damage. So heads up to everyone uh, that delivers pizza from the Donato's chain. You may wanna check what your customer's ordering before you go ahead and agree to a Donato's order. I've picked up a lot of pizzas from this place. This is my first gluten-free one, but it'll also be my last. Hope you have a great day. So Deborah, a couple of things. Uh, this is a good topic because getting held up for an additional 25 minutes really can screw you up, especially if you're trying to pump out as many orders uh, and get them delivered per hour as possible. Like I said, for me, it's always two to two and a half orders per hour, sometimes three, if I'm able to really crank them out. Um, but the thing with the gluten-free thing is really a big issue. Um, I can just tell you right now, my girlfriend has Crohn's disease. Um, and it, the gluten can cause major, major, major issues. It could even send you to the emergency room. So it, I understand where they're coming from, but I also understand where you're coming from because it holds you up. But sadly, the pizza place makes their money, you know, whether you're late or not, you know, uh, unless the ca customer cancels, of course. So at, unfortunately, your suggestion to them, they could care less because they're going to keep doing things the way they're going to keep doing them. You know, the, uh, that's the problem. These restaurants don't necessarily think of us at all because we're third party. We don't work for them. You know what I mean? We're no different than like a, a partner or something like that coming in you know, or whatever. They, they just basically don't care about us at the end of the day. They just care about their bottom line, their customers, and that's it. You know what I mean? So customer wants gluten-free pizza. They're going to wait a little bit longer for it. Okay, no problem. But for you as a driver, I can see where it's an inconvenience. But <clears throat> think of think of this kind of situation. I like to use this philosophy and mentality when going into a, a negative situation. Every situation in life is neutral until you give it a definition of positive or negative, okay? And remember, it's not uh, what happens in life, it's what you do with what happens. Now, this particular situation held you up for 25 minutes. You said you've picked up from Donato's plenty of times and it's never been an issue, now this will be your last time. Well, if anything, you need to kind of take some of the advice that you were saying that you need to check the orders. So in the future, if a Donato's order comes up for a good payout, right? You can see, okay, oh, they have a gluten-free pizza. That's going to be 25 minutes. Then you may want to reassign the order. You know, don't do it too much, but then you may want to, okay? Um, but you need to, what you can take from this negative or situation that you don't prefer, what you can do is say, you know what? This was a pain in the ass. I had to wait an extra amount of time, but what did you learn from that? Whenever something bad happens to you, always say, well, 
How did I make a mistake? How can I learn from this mistake? What is happening in this situation? What can I take from this? Now you learned through this situation, well, now gluten-free takes 25 minutes. So you know now to reassign those orders. And by you sending me this message, now lets everybody else know, be careful for gluten-free orders, not just from Donato's, but any pizza place. It may take longer. So for that, we thank you for your experience. Now you've helped other people. So for that, uh, Deborah, I really appreciate it. So if any of you guys, uh, you know, want to chime in on this, let me know what your thoughts are in the chat or the comments. Do you agree with Deborah? Do you disagree? Uh, do you have any experience with Donato's pizza or gluten-free pizza orders that take too long? Let me know down below. And if you guys ever want to send me anything for a video or have a topic or have a question, send me an email, pay to drive stories at gmail.com. That's the best place to reach me. Or for a quicker response, you guys can message me over at patreon.com uh, slash pay to drive. There's a link in the description down below or in the pin top comment if you guys want to uh, sign up. And anyone who does sign up, I give you guys shout outs in all my new videos. So I'm gonna do that right now. When you hear your name called, say, hey, Pete, I heard my name. We've got the very generous Ari Rosenbaum, our $100 ultimate driver. We've got the very generous Samantha Michaels, Brian Pomeroy, Brian Medina, Heidi Barnes, Ivan Jerome Gilroy, Joe Valerio, Angela Counts McCarty, Kirk Paul, Lee Peacock, Tulsa Todd, William Boudreau, Laura Love, Agus, Tom Perry, Alan G. Van Horn, Lawrence Brown, Drew Hanor, Fernando Carranza, Frank Havlin, uh, Fresh One, Jason Casta, Justin Case, Lulu Laura, Natalie Mosley, Sarah Keston, Scott Freisner, Sherry Cassidy, Stephen Neely, Joyce Hine, Brian Richardson, Kenny Bess, Jenny Thomas, uh, John Bonacci, Matt Epperson, Nick G, Stacey Miller, Terrence Pacheco, and of course, Valerie Brown. So huge shout outs to every single one of you. Uh, sign up down below. Who's going to be the next patron? Let's see and find out. Uh, so yeah, links in the description and in the pin top comment. And I hope every single one of you are saving money on your gas with the Get Upside Gas app. I mention it in every video. Please make sure you sign up. Pause the video right now. Link is in the bottom of the description. You click that link. It'll ask you to download it to your smartphone. Any kind of phone will work. Download it to your phone. Go in, into the app. Go to your gas station. Pump your gas. Print out your receipt. Take a picture of your receipt with the Get Upside Gas app. And within 48 hours or so, you'll get anywhere from 15 cents to 45 cents a gallon back, which is pretty fantastic. And if a friend or family member signs up using your code, you'll get paid every time they pump gas. It's called Get Upside. Links in the description. Make sure to download it today. And of course, if you want one of these Live to Drive, Drive to Live t-shirts, you can get your own over at paytodrivestore.com. We have lots of different designs, colors, sizes, you name it. We probably have it. Get your t-shirts, hoodies, and goodies at paytodrivestore.com. And if you made it to the end of this video, I'm very grateful. Leave a comment right now saying end 127, E-N-D 127. Just lets me know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to hit that free red subscribe button down below and turn on all notifications. So you're always notified whenever I post something new. And of course, hit that like button down below. It just lets YouTube know I'm doing a good job. So until next time, get that money, get that honey, keep hustling and keep bustling. And we'll see you next time right here on Paid to Drive and Pay to Drive Vlogs. That's it, everybody. Drive safe, be well, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.